what is going on guys welcome back to southwest fishing so today what we did we went out to a couple ponds we caught a decent amount of fish i mean i was only out for about an hour i don't really plan to go fishing today or anything but i had an hour of spare time so i decided to go out i'm glad i did go out because I had the ability to catch seven fish we only got five you guys will see all that here in just one second and uh we caught him on the dark sleeper and also the baby bullgill. I will note you that I lost a baby bullgill, so I'm gonna have to go on to Shop Carl's and pick up another, I don't know, five of them because that one, that previous one came in a mystery tackle box. I'm pumped. I'm gonna catch a lot of fish on them. I could just feel I'm gonna buy a couple more baby bull shad. I'm gonna start fishing those a lot because I mean, those styles of lures you can use year round. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys hopping on board to the channel. We're almost at 1800 subs. And if you guys wanna check out Southwest fishing on instagram go check me out at sw fishing 101 and uh, that'll be linked below as well and enough talking let's get to the fishing the spring's app. gonna suck there's gonna be a pretty good die off of bass and catfish oh my god guys i just had a giant follower that's a big bass that was a big bass literally right by the bank he turned around that was probably like a four pounder because that fish was big enough to inhale this thing no problem There we go, there we go, there we go guys. This fish freaking crushed it twice. I saw this fish come out of the pipe and underneath the concrete to come and grab this freaking bait. He missed it the first time and came back for it. That was wicked. So freaking energized. I mean, how awesome is that? That's a decent little fish right there too. Not too bad. Awesome little fish right there. Really cold still, but I mean lively, full of eggs. The cool thing about this pond and all these ponds in this area, they, they're natural uh, reproduction. I mean, all these fish, they naturally reproduce. They don't restock fish in here. So I mean, normally you could get a pretty good year class of fish in, in these urban ponds in this specific area. I'm actually retrieving it a little bit faster. Even the other day when I was fishing with this lure, I was retrieving it a little bit faster only because, now granted this spinning combo is a uh, five to six year ratio, but it just seemed to want it more when I retrieve it quicker rather than when I retrieve it slow or give it small pops to make it look like an injured bluegill. They just, they like that steady, straight retrieval. At least right now, in, in the next week, who knows, they may switch it up and they may want the thing to look like it's dead. Oh my gosh! That fish hit that so freaking hard, guys. Holy crap. Look how lively these fish are too. And, and the cool thing about this bait, it catches the better quality fish. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he hit it head first, too. This fish ate this head first. Let's get you back in the water. Let's get you a quick drink. I mean, look at that, guys. Another really good fish. Try to get that out in the sun for you guys to see better. Oh, my gosh. That should be good, good enough right there. Decent little fish. They're starting to fill out. Springtime, man. They're going to eat. They're going to find little places to nest. That fish annihilated it. I mean, crushed that lure. When they eat a head first, that's when you know that lure is what they want. Oh, there was another, there was another. Holy crap, two follows. Two fish, two follows. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys saw that. I mean, because we're in the shade right now, but that was another follow. Now, granted, that was the smallest fish of the day. That fish was probably only about a pound, but that was freaking insane, guys. Two follows. I wish I hooked that first one, man. That would have been a solid four pound fish. All right, guys, we're gonna give the Death Stalker, I mean, the uh, Dark Sleeper a shot from Mega Bass. See how that sucker works out? I mean, shoot, if they were gonna eat that uh, a bullgill, they should eat this. I mean, it moves very subtle in the water column. It's very finesse for a swim bait. And this time of year when the water is this cold, it should entice a few fish to eat. And it's relatively heavy, so I mean, I can start retrieving it right away. That's another nice thing. Cool thing is with these, you could work them just like a jig. You could bounce them along the bottom. You could do a steady retrieval. I mean, there's so many different ways you could work this sucker. Just like that, just like that. That freaking bass just followed the bait up all the way to the shore, committed and just choked it. I mean, just freaking choked it. 
That was wicked. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was insane. Small bass, nothing special, but first cast with the dark sleeper. Very realistic looking bait though. Very awesome little fish right there. Nothing too special, but it's a bass and that's what we're going for. Thank you for that. Oh my gosh. I just saw that fish coming out of literally nowhere. And last second to grab that sucker. Please pop off. Please just be on a rock and not that stupid paper structure. Got the bait caster out for the first time in a while. Even when I was out with uh, Gary Semp, I never really used it. I was only using the uh, drop shot setup, which was that previous rod, that cadence. I'm gonna go to this back pocket where sometimes I could catch a fish or two. Normally in this little back pocket area, if I do catch a fish, they tend to be smaller, more so toward a pound, but shoot, a fish is a fish, and right now I'll take anything. Even a small crappie grub, I think right now would entice some of these fish, these like really finicky fish to come out and hit. There we go, there we go. Ooh. Whoa! All right, all right. Calm down, bud. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Whoa! That energy—that is what I like to see. Look at this chunk right here, guys. Look at that right there, with that really pretty sunset in the background. I mean, you can't tell me that that's not a—that's uh, not a thumbnail right there. Just as I was saying, typically catches a smaller fish. Not necessarily true, I guess. He ripped the eye off and uh, split the front end open. It's the only thing with those dark sleepers. You just split those front, end those front ends open real easy. This fish is a lot warmer compared to the other pond fish I've caught. Man, that fish was full of energy. That is wicked. As I was saying, I, I do, I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys hopping on board to the channel. I mean, watching the growth of the channel has just been crazy. I never even thought I'd get to 1,700 subs inside essentially a year of actually filming. I figured, you know, that would probably take me three, four years to get to that point. And I mean, apparently I'm putting out decent content. I, I do want to put out better content, but I mean, I, gr I just greatly appreciate every single one of you guys for hopping on board. Makes it a lot more fun because the goal is to entertain as many people as I possibly can on this channel. I do my best. I, I stay out all day, try to catch a few fish, and uh, I mean, I have fun while I'm doing it as well. I mean, this would be a dream job. I mean, oh, got slammed. There we go. Stay down, stay down. This would be a dream job. As I was saying, oh my goodness, these fish are feisty. They're freaking full of energy and just girthiness. I mean, check that one out right there. Look at that gut on it. I mean, typically a, uh, I don't know, man, maybe a pound and a half bass I turned into a uh, couple pounder just because of how chunky he is. That is wicked. That is, and look at that, look at the energy that these fish have. It is crazy. But yeah, I love, I love trying to entertain you guys to the, to the max of my abilities. Trying to give you guys any sort of tips to uh, try to get you guys to catch more fish, whether that's at a lake or it's in the urban scene and you're going to a Tempe Town Lake or a golf course or wherever you're at in the country, I mean, wherever you're fishing. I love trying to help you guys catch fish. And not only that, you guys help me catch a lot of fish because I've had a few really, really good tips that I've changed up in some of my techniques, whether it's a drop shot or Texas rig or even this specific, uh, this uh, dark sleeper. I mean, a lot of people are telling me, try when you set the hook on this sucker to set it straight up because previously I was losing a lot of fish on uh, this uh, lure. Well, we got five fish guys in about an hour, not too bad. I mean, I came, I literally came out for an hour and I wasn't really expecting to get on a whole lot of fish. If we, uh, if we got those other two fish to bite, we'd be at seven fish in an hour. That's really good. So, I mean, I average a fish every 10 minutes. Can't complain about that. 
All right, guys, so what you guys just watched was obviously five fish being caught out of local ponds, but the one fish that double hit the uh, the uh, baby bullgill, that was wicked because I, I legitimately sat there and I watched that fish hit that bait and then saw him come back and inhale and grab it again. So that was an awesome, awesome bite. And also the dark sleeper where I retrieved it all the way up on the spinning combo and the fish hits it right at the bank. He comes hauling everything you had to come and grab that bait i mean it was it was really cool it was cool to see a fish have that much energy even with the water still being that cold so it's shown that spring's coming and i'm getting pumped for that so uh stay tuned for those spring videos are going to be pretty freaking cool and uh the video should upgrade relatively quick here i got a couple cool gadgets that should help the channel out quite a bit and uh if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to like subscribe hit the bell notification and as always we'll see you guys next time on southwest fishing